As promised, it's your boy Mazi here, finally coming at you guys with some more premiere theater event news from KH3. So, a lot of news has been circulating once again, and I've come with the pretty much uh, roundup of a lot of things that we got. This is going to be the final video. I thought there would have been a lot more than this, but apparently they didn't really see too much. Once we get the trailers tomorrow or later on today, after the recording of this video, I don't know when that's going to be, because for some reason the times keep on being mixed up, that'll pretty much be it for everything that we'll probably be seeing come out of this premiere theater, which was pretty much hyped ever since E3. But let's go ahead and get into what everyone was saying that they saw. So, first off, we have Rapunzel spotted inside of the new Kingdom Hearts 3 trailer in the new gameplay pieces. So, of course, this is going to be the confirmation of Rapunzel finally being a partner inside of your group. I, for I forgot, I think your party inside of this game. So, finally, we do know for confirmation that she will be part of your party, at least inside of the Tangled World. Number two is going to be Sora has new combat tech. So, I don't know what exactly did this mean, but from the person that I was getting a lot of news from that actually went to the event, they said that that's all they really said they said that Sora got new combat tech I think this is gonna possibly mean that Sora has a new way of swinging the keyblade probably a new setup inside of you know the uh, command set to where he gets to switch up his style of fighting but that's really all I got from that so let's go ahead and keep moving number three is gonna be surrounding effect gameplay heartless fell into a river so I guess this means that while you're fighting heartless the surroundings and where you are could actually play in as a huge effect of destroying heartless probably heartless that's gonna be stronger than you at certain stages inside of the gameplay if you can't beat them if you can't get around them you can probably lure them to a certain area on the map and then just kill them off and they'll disappear or fight them off in a certain area and you could get a better advantage in that area than what you had in the area that you were previously in before luring them to that area which is kind of my thoughts on that and then number four we got a full com the full conversation between master xehanort and master ericus or young xehanort and young ericus in the new kingdom hearts 3 trailer so finally we'll be getting this in full and finally we'll get to know exactly what they're speaking on because if you remember the last notes of what we actually got or the last thing that we actually heard from this conversation in the previous games is that young Z young Ericus was telling young Xehanort that light has more to it than darkness maybe we'll finally get to see exactly what he meant we probably get some type of elaboration on what he meant because a lot of people are thinking that what he's alluring to is kind of like Sora and his abilities and things like that and how we get to see Sora connect to different people and that provides more strength to the character but me personally I feel like he's more so alluring to light itself and how Lux can be manipulated to make for a better fighting tool than darkness itself although light hasn't really been used as a tool of fighting or it's not necessarily a tool of fighting kind of like how the keyblade is more so supposed to be a kind of thing of connecting people's hearts but let's go ahead and get into the final and most important piece and i saved it for last so number five is gonna be sora roxas nominee shion riku axel kairi aqua terra and ventus at the end of the new Kingdom Hearts 3 trailer, baby. So how do you guys like that news, man? I am so hyped for this little piece right here. This little piece is blowing my mind. I can't stop thinking about what does this mean? Like, what are people saying when they say they're at the end of this trailer? I know another piece person that was giving out this information said that they shared a pretty good moment and a pretty good moment could mean a lot of things such as inside of Sora's uh, subconscious or where they are or where they were when Riku actually went into Sora's heart Sora could finally wind up there and all of them will probably be giving him his their powers maybe they'll all be kind of like you know coming to terms with what has happened to them because of course as we know on that land, darkness shall prevail and light will expire, so maybe Sora will be like the culmination of all of these characters. He may be the last person alive, and he'll meet them inside of his subconscious or inside of his heart, and they'll all give them him their powers. They'll all lend him their keyblades. Of course, we know from the transformations or the Sora's forms that of course this isn't something that's uh necessarily new sora could literally like uh use telekinesis and shit to hold the keyblades up and fight with them at the same time 
that shit would be so crazy. And just to hear that Shion and Roxas will be back in Kingdom Hearts 3 is fucking crazy, man. But let me know what you guys think about this new news. That's all that's going to be coming from me for now. Until we get the new trailers, I'll be uploading, of course, a reaction. And, of course, I'll be uploading the trailers for you guys to just view on your own. But other than that, this has been your boy, Mazi. Don't forget to do a little A-Class gaming and everything you do. Don't forget to keep it A-Class. And, of course, keep it right here for more Kingdom Hearts content. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys, hopefully, in the next one. Peace the heck out.